Anthony Weiner is in trouble again. Just moments ago, Weiner admitted to sending additional explicit photos and texts to a woman he met online. The former congressman, who is now running for mayor of New York City, was being accused of exchanging multiple sexts with a 22-year-old woman using the handle Carlos Danger. The alleged conversations were posted on the nightlife site The Dirty yesterday, which claims to be in contact with the unidentified woman. You could say a lot of things right now. Uh, you could say Wiener was on the rise, but this will bring him down. You could say uh, he might uh, fight this very hard. I mean, this is the photo in question. It's worth showing, I think, uh, for oh, no. sake of posterity. Sorry, buddy. Um, <laughs> Is this a political hit job now that he's admitted it? I mean, what does this mean for his campaign? Well, uh, when he announced he was running for mayor, he said at the time, there are more pictures out there, and it's possible they could come out. And now they have. And he has admitted that these are authentic. At least some of them are. He said some of what came out today is true, and some of it's not. Um, but he, he announced his mayoral campaign knowing that he would have to drag his family through this again. And I think the second time around, it really calls his judgment into question even more than after the first time. And the name, Carlos Danger, what was, was McLovin taken? Uh, it's such a silly name. When, it, when this website, The Dirty, was first reporting it, people were saying, this is too ridiculous to be true. Uh, but it turns out it is. There's no underestimating Anthony Weiner. Right. And, you know, what's really crazy about it is if you look at his statement, uh, which we have on our uh, article here at the Huffington Post, I'm just going to share some of this with you. I don't know if you can actually see this text, but I'll read it. While some things that have been posted today are true and some are not, there is no question that what I did was wrong. The, this behavior is behind me. I've apologized to Huma and I'm grateful that she has worked through these issues with me and for her forgiveness. I want to again say that I'm very sorry to anyone who was on the receiving end of any of those messages and the disruption that this has caused. As my wife and I have said, we are focused on moving forward. I mean, she must have known moving forward the disruption this has caused. Presumably, he's probably sorry for the disruption it caused most to his campaign. I mean, what do you, what do you think uh, public, the public's perception is going to be right now? Well, it's not simply that he knew these were out there from before uh, he had repented and all that. These are apparently from last year, after he uh, resigned from Congress in disgrace, and was in rehab or whatever, so he was still doing it. So I, I think it's it's definitely going to have a bigger impact than uh, the original scandal had been having since he was leading in the polls after he declared his candidacy. And and another point that's important about the other people who are involved in this, the New York Times and, and others have caught up with some of these women, and in some cases their lives have been severely disrupted. And every time he's out on the hustings promoting himself, it brings more attention to these people who are essentially collateral damage right. to his own narcissism. So it's, it's, uh, it's not just his own family, it's also these other people who never wanted to be part of the spotlight. So it's, it's a pretty tragic situation all around.